Do 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 Captain Action do, 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 do. Oh Hey guys, I'm uh hanging out playing with uh Round 2's Captain Action 12-inch action figure, which I reviewed recently. Now the cool thing about Captain Action is Round 2 not only has created an amazing 12-inch figure, but they've also created a couple of great costume sets. Now, in my last review for Captain Action, I may have got my wording wrong when talking about playing Mantis and the fact that they didn't have any licensed characters. Well, what I meant to say was they didn't have any awesome Marvel and DC licensed characters. They had characters such as The Flash and you know, Green Hornet and Kato, but they didn't have any Marvel superheroes, and that was the true testament of this line in my mind, was not only the great classic superheroes, but also the awesome Marvel and DC comic book heroes that Captain Action can change into. And round two hasn't left us wanting, because let me tell you what, today I give you a look at the awesome Captain Action Spider-Man costume set. Let's take a look at the box real quick. The box for the Deluxe Spider-Man costume set is very cool and features some great comic art on the front and a large window that gives you a look at everything you're receiving inside as well as a sticker on the bottom left letting you know what pieces of the Hawkeye Builder costume you get. While the back shows off the other character costumes that will be available, a short character bio, and a listing of everything inside the box. Now let's take a look at what's hiding inside. The deluxe set includes Spider-Man's classic costume, a Spider-Man mask, a pair of Spider-Man web shooting hands, an open palm hand, a holding hand, Spidey's boots, a newspaper, three photos of Spidey in action, and exclusive to the deluxe version of the set, a web cartridge belt with an attachable camera, web shooters, and a Peter Parker face mask. And the set also comes with Hawkeye's bow and quiver full of arrows. Now the face masks here are very well done. They're designed with a split up the sides right behind the ear that makes it very easy to slide the masks on and off of Captain Action's head. While Spider-Man looks just like, well, Spider-Man, the Peter Parker head here is well sculpted and well painted. Now, the Spider-Man costume here is well detailed, including the classic webbings under his arms. Okay, let's dress Captain as Spider-Man, and as we go, we'll take a closer look at the other items. Now, first things first is to undress and pop off the Captain's hands, then you get a naked Captain. Uh, but don't worry, he's not going to stay that way for long. Next, you simply unvelcro the seam on the back of the costume and slide the Captain's feet into the costume. Then you simply pull the sleeves up over his arms and pull the costume up onto his upper body. Then you re the seam in the back and you have a dress captain. Next up, slide the boots onto his feet. Now the boots are made out of a very soft rubber that helps with sliding them on or off the feet of the figure. And once on, he stands up very nicely on his own. Next up is placing his hands on. Now inside the gloved hands is a small hole that, after a bit of work, plugs onto the hand peg quite snugly. My only complaint about the costume set is that small holes inside the rubber hands don't always want to go into the hand peg very easily, so it takes a lot of work to get them in there. But once on, they stay on and stay in place very, very nicely. Finally, you slide the Spider-Man mask up over the captain's head. Now it takes a bit of maneuvering, but once on properly, the head looks very cool and it blends well into the captain's head. Now, the only bit of the captain's head you see under the mask is revealed along the seam of the mask behind the ears. Once all together, Spider-Man looks amazing. Now, the cartridge belt here is well done, and the tiny camera can plug onto the belt. Then you simply wrap the belt around and snap the buckle pegs into their holes, and Spidey can take pictures while fighting evil as well as filling his web shooters anytime he needs to. The Peter Parker mask slides onto the captain's head in the same manner as the Spidey mask does, and once on it looks very, very cool. Plus, if you want, you can actually slide the Spider-Man mask over the Peter Parker mask. Kinda cool. Now the web shooters here are very well done and are easy to place on. 
you simply slide them over the figure's wrists and then place the Captain Action holding hands onto the pegs and you can create a web shooting Peter Parker. Now the Hawkeye pieces here are pretty cool. Uh, the bow is well designed and features a real string attached. Uh, the Captain can easily hold the bow in either open hand. Uh, the quiver is also well detailed and can easily slide over his shoulder and head. Now the arrows included here are a regular tipped arrow, an exploding tipped arrow, and finally an arrow with a tiny Hake Pym, aka Ant-Man, along for the ride. A very nice little touch. Now the paper included here is just a little reproduction paper of the Daily Bugle, and Spider-Man can actually hold the paper in his hand, and it's pretty cool because, well, again, it shows you that, uh, that Jameson really wants some pictures of Spider-Man and will do whatever it takes. While the three little pictures of Spider-Man here show Spider-Man in different action poses throughout his history in the comic books and is a very nice, cool little touch to include. All in all, the deluxe Spider-Man costume set is a must-have for any Captain Action collector. If you haven't picked this one up yet, well, what are you waiting for? You can find the deluxe Spider-Man costume at your local comic or specialty store as well as most major online specialty retailers for around $21.99. So head out and pick this up today. And until next time, gang, keep playing with your toys.